Rematch, supercar manufacturer Rematch. They have unveiled new batteries, and these new batteries are intended for other car companies to use. Very good chance Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Porsche, Volkswagen Group will use these batteries in the near future. And this is a big deal considering the fact that um, the flagship battery can charge from 10 to 80% in 6.5 minutes, which is pretty damn awesome considering that's a 100 kilowatt hour battery, capable of giving an EV up to 600 miles of range. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. If you'd like to become a YouTube member of the channel, you can do so. I'll put a link in the description below. Rematch has used the Munich Auto Show to unveil its e-axles and its next generation solid state batteries, which will hit the market in the fourth quarter of 2027 and be used, Rematch say, by numerous automakers. Now, to be fair, it's not just Rematch batteries uh, and Rematch Tech. Rematch actually teamed up with solid state battery manufacturer Prologium and Mitsubishi Chemical Group to create a solid state power source that pushes the boundaries of energy density and safety. Obviously, it's a marketing speak there, but the batteries are pretty impressive. The energy density is not so impressive. It's the charging speed that is really impressive. Energy density is 260 watt hours per kilogram. But the battery is capable of charging from 10 to 80 percent in 6.5 minutes which is very fast for a 100 kilowatt hour battery now of course the big bottleneck and challenge is going to be getting a charger capable of getting the kind of charging speed you need assuming these batteries can maintain a very high state of charge you'd probably be able to use a 500 kilowatt charger to actually achieve this feat 6.5 minutes from 10 to 80 percent most places don't have 500 kilowatt chargers. There's 350 kilowatt chargers in a lot of locations around the world. Using one of those, you'd probably be looking at more like a 12 minute charge. Still good, but um, just not quite as good. The battery, apparently, um, Rematch say they have partners BMW and Porsche, and there's a good chance they will be using these batteries. Rematch also showcased a new Evo battery, which is much more affordable and that will arrive in mid-2026. It has a 100 kilowatt hour capacity, but a lower energy density of 213 watt hours per kilogram, which is a bit higher than the best energy density LFP, which is at around 205 watt hours per kilogram. You can apparently charge those batteries from 10 to 80% in 16 minutes. So good charging speed, good energy density, not amazing, but um, much more affordable batteries, and they'll be made in Europe as well. So that's... um. That's good news. In addition to that, Rematch unveiled two batteries for hybrids. Plug-in hybrids, E-Revs can use them. They also unveiled a scalable unit that will arrive early next year. So you can actually scale these batteries from one to 17 kilowatt hours, and they are structural battery packs. So basically you order them from Rematch or from Prologium, and they can build them kind of like, I believe, kind of like a skateboard, like what Cadle do. Now, besides batteries, Rematch also unveiled some other technology. They're 300, they're called Syntec 300 and Syntec 550 e axles. These are designed for performance focused vehicles from hot hatches to SUVs, a number of different cars. And they are, well, they produce a range of power. You can buy different versions 201 horsepower or 150 kilowatt for the base version and 483 horsepower or 360 kilowatt for the top spec SUV version. Um, yeah, production happens next year. So that's a lot of power, right? 360 kilowatt or 483 horsepower. Put four of those on a car, you could, and you're looking at about or nearly 2,000 horsepower. But to give you some context, BYD's electric supercar has 3,000 horsepower from four motors. So they're powerful, but not quite at that BYD supercar level. Rematch COO Nerdin Peterevich said this, what we're showcasing at IAA represents the convergence and breakthrough to innovation and production readiness. These aren't simply concept technologies that have been developed to be production ready solutions that will power hundreds of thousands of vehicles in the coming years. So they're not made for supercars particularly, this is made for mainstream vehicles. So what does that say? I mean, these solid state batteries would be awesome to see in a range of different vehicles I think this kind of charging 
I mean, it's as fast, right? It's as fast as filling up your car with gasoline, pretty much. This is the future of the EV industry, and it's pretty damn exciting. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. Mercedes-Benz, they are currently testing, in fact, several cars, several Mercedes-Benz vehicles have been spotted testing on a number of occasions with a new solid state battery providing over 600 miles of range. So we're talking a thousand kilometers of range here. Are these batteries coming soon? Well, Mercedes-Benz have provided an actual date on when they will be selling these vehicles with solid state batteries in them. It's not as close as you'd expect considering all the testing that's happening, but um, at least it's being realistic. At least Mercedes-Benz are actually telling the truth. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Mercedes-Benz have launched new EVs with solid state batteries. Well, they will, at least, in the future. Not quite yet. Earlier this year, Mercedes actually put the first car powered by a lithium metal solid state battery on the road. That's a direct quote from Mercedes-Benz for testing. And Mercedes has been testing prototypes in the UK and Europe since February. The company uses a modified EQS vehicle. Basically, it's an EQS EV with a different battery and some other parts as well, because you can't just swap the battery. You gotta swap a few other things. The battery pack, who actually developed it? Well, apparently Mercedes-Benz say it was developed in-house by Mercedes-Benz and its Formula One supplier unit, Mercedes AMG High Performance Powertrains or HPP. Now, Mercedes-Benz, what they often do they team up with other companies and they often buy them. Very smart. Sort of like what Tesla have done as well. But yeah, Mercedes-Benz, they go out and they'll identify companies, startups sometimes that have technology they want and they'll, yeah, they'll often buy them. In this case, Mercedes-Benz is teaming up with US-based Factorial Energy to bring the new battery tech to market. In September, Factorial and Mercedes revealed they're all solid state solstice battery, which I think is a different battery. The new batteries though promise a 25% range improvement and will power the German automaker's next generation electric cars. So the question is, when are these next generation EVs actually coming? Not soon, unfortunately. According to Marcus Schaefer, the automaker's head of development, the first Mercedes EVs powers, powered by solid state batteries will arrive in 2030. So they're four and a half years away, which seems like a long time, but if I'm honest, four and a half years does seem to go pretty quickly these days.